Hi, in this video, I will demonstrate how to import a CSV file into a plugin Agile Store Locator for WordPress. For that, I have four sample CSV files to import it into the plugin. The first is demo import, which can be downloaded from the plugin import export page view file. So let's get started with the first one, demo import. Open it. This CSV file can easily be imported into our plugin. So first, please make sure that your CSV file has all the headers in the lower case. For example, if you have a title, it will not work. So you need to be title in the lower case. Let's import this file. For that, click on Upload, Browse, and select the file. Click on Upload File. Now the file is uploaded, but it isn't imported yet. So let's import it. Before I import it, I will delete my existing stores. Delete all and import that file by clicking on import button. Now the file is imported and 34 rows are created. Let's check it in manage stores. We have 34 records which were imported. Check it on the front end and we have 34 rows. Now the second file is, is the same file but it doesn't have coordinates which are LT and LNG values. Here it is. Now if you don't have the LT and the LNG values, you can import these values by Google Geocoding API. But for that, your geocoding need to be working properly. Please go to import export page and make sure your server key is there. Click on validate key. If it reports valid API key, you are good to go. You can upload that file. Click on upload the file, upload. I will delete my existing stores, delete all. I will verify it manage stores. All rows are deleted and import it in this file. It will take a bit of time because all those LT and LNG values are fetched by Google Geocoding API. Okay, all 34 rows are imported. We can verify it and we have LAT and LNG columns which were not in the CSV itself. Let's validate the coordinates. Click on validate coordinates and all coordinates looks correct. We can check it on the front end as well. And it looks fine. Now let's start with the third one. I will delete my existing stores. Close this one. In the third CSV file, the difference is we are importing the logo images via the URL. For that, we have to provide the URL in the logo image, logo underscore image, and the logo name in the logo underscore name column. Let's import it, upload the file, and import it. These logos were created, which were imported through the downloading. We can verify it from Manage Logos and it looks fine. Now let's board the last CSV file, delete all existing stores and import this last CSV file. This is a big CSV file but we have all the LAT and LNG columns in, in it so it will import very quickly because we don't need to look up in the geocoding API. We have 8k plus records that's important. 
Click on Upload. Select the file. Upload file. 8 characters. Import it. Now, all the records are imported, but in case if you don't have LAT and LNG values in the CSV file, it will take longer. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.